Morning. So today I'm going to Da Nang because I'm going to Bali, but the flights are too expensive to go to Bali today. I was told that Monday was going to be more expensive than Tuesday, but it was the other way around. So I weren't going to pay that amount of money. So I'm going to Da Nang because it's further down. And then I'm going to see Michael. And then I booked the flights for Thursday to Bali. Just boarded the plane um, to Da Nang. So when we get there, we're going to see Michael again. We are now coming into land. Hoping that landing is better than the one the other day. Because I almost dropped my recording device. There's a rice field. landed in Danan and it's so much nicer here than Hanoi because it's a lot warmer. I'm just waiting for my bag at the moment and then I will be make my way to the hotel and meet Michael. I have got my bag and just to make sure he's arrived. We thought that he might get lost but he didn't. Look who it is! Mark Sharky! Hi, it's buddy. Michael! Yes! Um, Welcome back. back! It's back due to popular demand. Hello! Hello, staff! Hello! Hello, staff! Hello! Well, buddy, found me! Yeah. Did, did uh, the taxi driver shop okay, Eaton? Yeah. Right on. Good. This um, is the bakery where I've been coming to in Da Nang. And it's brilliant. That's your cockroach sure. show. She's cutting now. If you come to Da Nang, you've got to come to this bakery. They're cooking something in that oven. I have put this place in the video before. That's the name of the bakery. It's there. It's got breads all in the window, and obviously the cakes, what you've seen before in the glass. It's amazing. This shop has got everything in, and Michael's found something that he wants to buy. <laughs> it looks like you, Michael. It does. Little Buddha. How much did he cost? Two hundred and fifty thousand down. That's in your budget. It is. I think I might do a jade one, but they don't bo bobble their head. <laughs> you really want one of the little cats? No. I don't want a cat. <laughs> we have come to this restaurant, 27 Sone, and they've given us a deal on food and drink as long as we record and we food the food. Okay. So that's yeah. what we're going to do. Hi. Where are we, Michael? We're at Hai Sun Ning. Yeah. Uh, restaurant. Sun Ning. Yeah. Nhà Hai Bai Seafood. Yeah. In Da Nang. Yeah. And it's a very famous uh, restaurant here on the beach. Right yeah, I can see the palm trees in the background. We're going to pick out our food. It's a seafood restaurant, and they're going to cook it uh, several different ways. And we are going to love it, and we're going to be treated like we're like VIPs here. It's brilliant. We're, we're upstairs. We've got the whole of upstairs to ourselves. They're going to look, treat us like kings, I think. This is the restaurant, and look at the food from here. You couldn't get much better food like this. You wouldn't get anything like this in England. This is a bit video. Oh, what do you notice on the menu? The first time in Vietnam, the beer is more expensive than the pop. The Sprite is 15,000 and the beer is 18,000. And the Coke? Is that 15? 15,000 for coke. Water, 10. He has to be careful what, how to say it after yeah. what Mimi said. <laughs> what food did you disorder, Michael? Well, between our two palates and our yeah. fancy taste, we have a crab coming, some prawns, some oysters, some spinach, 
And I think one of the dishes come with morning glory, the crab with morning glory. Oh, I think the crab is with uh, lemongrass. Oh, lemongrass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the one? Okay. Yeah. And then we also got um, uh, a, a steamed rice. So it should be fabulous. And here is the beer and the... Thank you. So your beer is here and my Sprite is here, Mike. What are you doing, Michael? Oh, I just uh, squeezed my lime into my salt and pepper and it really gives it a unique flavor. And then you dip some of your seafood on in this just to get it a little wet and you won't believe the change in the flavor. And, and this is what uh, Mimi and Rosie Absolutely, you. yes. Last night they did it in all their dishes and uh, I must say it really made a difference. I'm going to do what Michael did. So you just squeeze it on here. I've never done this before. So like that. And I'm, I'm not going to mix mine. I'm going to leave it like that. Here we've got some spinach. Okay. With chilli. You see some coriander on there. And um, rice. That's a lot of rice. I was expecting a little bit of rice. That's a little bit. Yeah, they do eat a lot of rice over a here, to be fair. And the oh, plates yes. are now thank covered. You. Thank you. Okay. So what have we got here, Michael? We have shrimp, some rice, spinach. Yeah. And we've ate some of the spinach. Uh, it's really good. Crab. And then look at these look oysters. At this food, it looks amazing. amazing. It's already a good buffet. <laughs> Lobby is peeling the prawns for us. She's actually a star. Look at this. She's looked after us so well. Michael, how good is that crab? Pretty darn tasty. And the sauce... Is amazing. Is amazing. Those oysters are unbelievable. And the garlic in the spinach, absolutely spot on. Yeah, it's sweet. And look at the foo. You couldn't ha have a much better foo than that. Look at those prawns. She's peeled them for us. They're amazing. Just had to take their heads off. Um, she's been really, really good to us. Looked after us so much. I would say definitely come to this restaurant. The food has been second to none. I think this is the best meal I've had um, since I've been in Southeast Asia. Absolutely. The best meal that we've had in Da Nang. Wynn took all the legs and the back shell off it. All I have to do is take the tail off and the head. And then I'll break it in half. I've got to say, it does make a difference, Michael, with dipping it in. We have amazing assistants, don't we? Absolutely. We have this young lady that is standing to our side the whole time. And she's been, she even subscribed to my channel. Yeah. <laughs> she filled our shrimp, cracked our crab, gave us, filled up our wine, poured our water. Just an amazing uh, young lady and doing the best she can. I, I think we give her a 20 out of 10. So, what was the food and, and also the servers like? Well, the, the food was phenomenal. The service was better. The young lady cracked our crab, peeled our shrimp, and left it on the skewer for us. We just had to take the tails and the head off. It was amazing service. The food was phenomenal. Great rice. But the sauce on the crab was amazing. You could taste the little bit of tomato background. It had lemongrass. It had a little bit of garlic, a little bit of ginger in it. Uh, palm sugar. And palm sugar. So it was uh, on the sweet side. It was great. Uh, great, great flavor for the crab. The shrimp were great, they were done on the grill. The oysters had a peanut, parsley, cilantro, 
lime, salt, and pepper in it. Served on uh, um, basil. And basil. Thai yeah, basil. Yeah, yeah, And it was barbecued. So it was hot and cooked, and it was great. The, the peanuts were roasted and added uh, at the end, so they, uh, they weren't soft or... Uh, just a great combination of that. Really different. First time I've had oysters done that way, and I loved them. So I would give this place a 10 out of 10 for their food, 11 out of 10 on their service. We had a personal waitress at our table the whole night. Just, and the scenery on the beach. Listening to the waves, nice little breeze. We were the only table up here until a little while ago, and then uh, one other table joined us. And there's four staff. There's more staff than there are customers. It's just. Amazing. But there are a lot of customers downstairs. A lot of customers downstairs, but not up here. In the VIP. Michael, we've got a problem. It wasn't just us um, eating tonight. No, in fact, some of the wine disappeared. Yeah. And we should have had three glasses instead of sharing wine. And how is he now? Well, I don't know. I think he's trying to take my beer now. He's a bit drunk. I think he's a bit drunk. Look at He's fall down. <laughs> <laughs> He's fall down drunk. <laughs> Stay up there, naughty. There goes. Yeah. Oh, that was way off to the right. So this guy is fishing. I bet he will catch more fish than Clyde Burrows. I think it's supposed to be like an oyster because the pearl's inside and it's closing. Wow. I wonder if it's going to open. Do you reckon it might open? I should have closed it and put Noddy in it. Michael, I can't find Noddy. He's escaped from the bag. Do you know where he is? Um, oh no. He's in that shell that closes. Come on. Out of there. Out. In the bag. <laughs> He's a nightmare, he keeps escaping.